well students welcome to the class in the previous class i taught you the present perfect tense the present perfect tense and its form and the use of present perfect tense i mean where to use the present perfect tense right end of end i gave you some keywords right so in this class i am going to teach you the keywords of the present perfect tense and where do we use them and the placement of the keywords right so let me write the keywords here the keywords are here just already so far yet recently lately lately ever never since perfect right these are the keywords that we use them in present perfect tense so already you know the structure right what is the form of present perfect tense subject has or have plus third form of verb plus object right now let us see the keywords right just what are the keywords here just already so far yet recently lately ever never since for right just what is the what does it mean just means right just means just means at short time before at short time before and already means here already before now before now so far and at at the time up to now right recently and lately they both are recently means lately lately means recently so we can say that lately so here let me give you there is a lot of difference between late and lately for example he always come comes to class late so he has he has joined school recently that means that means lately right so he has joined he has joined the school he has joined school lately that means what recently he joined school right so here recently and lately both same ever and never ever means what at any time at any time never means at no time at no time at no time right since it is used to it is used to indicate point of time point of point of time and here for it is used period of period of time period of time so now you see here so just means what just is used in present perfect tense used to indicate a short time before that means a short time before is recent past recent past activities what are these recent past activities so we use present perfect tense to indicate recent past activities right when we use when we talk about recent past activities we use a word called just here for example uh, let me give you an example i'll show you the examples right he has just gone out he has just gone out has just gone out just is used here that means what so right so he has just gone out it completed recently right the action is completed here recently he has just gone out so it is just is placed between auxiliary verb and main verb where where does it where is it placed it is placed between auxiliary verb and main verb here just is used just means what just is used in present perfect tense to indicate a short time before that is recent past activities right yes, yes. let me give you one more example she has just completed her homework completed her homework completed her homework so right when does when 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 has she completed her homework 
she has completed she has just completed her homework just means what a short time before recently it has been done recently recently she has completed her homework now she is free she can play she can go out and she can play right so here this is one and two. this is one and two examples right for example these are one and two examples so the first one is here so he has just gone out she has just completed her homework just is placed where 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 just is placed just is placed between uh, auxiliary verb and main verb the placement of just you have to remember just you should not place at the end or at the beginning so you should not say just he has gone out he has gone out just you should not say instead of just we can use just now just now right so he has he has he has gone out just now right if you use just now you can use at the end position so the position of just here middle right remember this now let's go already already means before now so for example already is used in present perfect tense something happened earlier than expected for example i have given you some work so i asked you to complete it by 5 o'clock today so what do you do so you completed it by 3 o'clock what did you do you have already completed the work so then i expected right so that means what something something happened earlier than expected so it is before now already so here we can we can say that i have i have already read this book so here i i gave you one book to uh, come to read the book and complete it by 5 o'clock so you have you have completed it by 3 o'clock that means what when did when do you complete right you have when have you completed you have completed it by 3 o'clock so you have already read this you have already read this book so what did you do so what i expected i expected you to complete it uh, completed it by 5 o'clock you completed it by 3 o'clock so something happened so here reading the book is something something happened earlier than expected earlier than expected for example now one more example i will give you the train for example the train the train has left has left the train has left the train has left already the train has left already the train has left already here the train has left already there is no train on the platform and you went to station you did you didn't you didn't find the train so it's it's left it has left already so the train has left already here already is used that means it happened something happened earlier than expected right so the train has left now you see the placement of already the placement of already here it, it, it already is here here it is placed between auxiliary verb and main verb auxiliary verb and main verb so here it placed between middle middle position middle position so here i placed it at the end end position so both we can place it middle at the end middle and at the end now let us see here uh, so far and yet so so far and yet is used to indicate so at any time up to now at any time at the time or at any time at any time up to now right we can use it so far and yet so far and yet especially we use them in negative sentences negative sentences so it gives a negative sentence negative meaning so let us see how the negative meaning will be given so this is third and fourth and the fifth example i am going to give on this for example if i say that have you have you right so have you have you watched have you watched have you watched have you here have you watched the movie have you watched the movie harry potter harry potter have you watched the movie harry potter so here i asked you i asked you a question if you say that if you haven't watched 
yet. So you have to say that I haven't, I haven't watched, I haven't watched it yet. I haven't watched it yet. So yet is used to indicate a negative implication, negative sentence. Negative in a negative sense, we use yet. We use yet. So far also the same. For example, have you done your homework? So if I say that I haven't, I haven't done my homework, homework so far. I haven't done, I haven't done my homework so far. So now here you see, right? So have you have you watched the movie Harry Potter? So you can say that no, I haven't watched it yet. So right, I haven't done my homework so far. So this so far, where did we place? Now this is now let us see the placement of yet and so far. So where 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 where, where they are placed? Where are they placed? They are placed at the end of the sentence. At the end of the sentence. End. So now you see here just is placed in the middle position. Always we should place it in middle position. And already it can be placed in the middle or at the end point. At the end. Right. So here, uh, yet and so far, yet and so far, they, we have to place them at the end, right? It, they take, right, they, they are placed at the end, so end position. So these are used at end position, end position. Now, let us look at recently and lately. For example, here, I have visited, visited my hometown recently I have visited I have visited my hometown recently here recently instead of recently we can place lately also lately I already told you for example he always comes to class late that late is different so he comes to late so actually school starts at 9 o'clock he comes at 9 30 so for example, when we say he always, he always comes to class late, right, if I say that he has joined the school lately, lately means recently, so I have visited my, my, my hometown lately, that means recently, so here I have visited my hometown recently, so recently, recently or lately, so both can be used, right, so the, this is one, uh, one example. Now let us see ever and never. The placement. Let us see the placement. Where, where, did we, where, where, where is it placed? It is placed at the end. In uh, recently is placed at the end of the sentence. And it can be placed at the beginning also. Recently I have visited my hometown. We can write here recently. Recently I have visited my hometown. I have recently visited my hometown also can be said. So, recently can be placed initial position, that means in the beginning, for example here, recently comma, I have visited, visited my hometown, right? So now, for example, I have recently visited, can be also said, I have recently visited. So that means recently it can be placed initial beginning and middle so middle position so end position initial position and middle position they can be it can be placed right so have you understood i think right. now let us see ever and never so ever and never they will be used when we question so for example have you have you have you ever ever gone to Paris have you ever gone to have you ever gone to Paris so when we, when we say have you ever gone to Paris so for example uh, if you say no how do you say no I have I have never gone to I have never gone to Paris Paris so this you can say have you ever so here, have you, have you ever gone to Paris? 
so no i have never gone to paris so have you ever met him so you can say that no i i have never met him so when you give it in a negative a reply so you use it with never and ever so these can be placed in the middle middle position ever and never right this is one and now when it comes to since and for for right so uh, i write one example here i have lived here since 2017 if i say so this sentence can be written in another way also right i have lived here i have lived here for Three years, three years, three years. Now you see here, have lived, have lived. So I have lived here since two thousand ten. Since two thousand ten is an exact year. Exact. Exact means point of time. Exact means what? Point of time. I have lived here for three years. Is it's a period of time. Period of time. So how many years? Three years, right? So. 2017 18 uh, 17 18 19 uh, 20 right three years i have i have been living here to three years right for for three years for three years for three years i have lived here uh, for three years right so this can be this can be said right um, this this can be said okay here actually since is used to indicate point of time for this period of time For example, since morning, uh, since uh, since two thousand seventeen, right, right. For for a long time, for three years, for three days, for two hours. So for is used to indicate period of time, and since is used to indicate point of time, right. So next uh, next time uh, next let us see the difference between has or have, has or have been, or uh, has or Has or have gone. Have gone. Has or have been. Has or have gone. Let us see the difference between both. Both, right? So here, for example, let me write. He has been to Paris. Right. Let us see. He has. Going to Paris. Just think about the difference. He has gone to Paris. He has been to Paris. So has been Paris means right. So he has gone to Paris and returned. Understand? So he went there. He visited. He moved around the places and he right. He moved around the places. He enjoyed and he came back. That means. He has been to Paris means he went and returned, right? So here he he that means he has returned. He has returned. He has returned. Now here he has gone to Paris means so right. So for example, somebody asks where is Ram? Think about Ram here. Somebody asks where is Ram? I haven't seen him for many days. So you may answer him. Ram has gone to Paris for a week. Ram has gone to Paris for a week. That means he went there. He was moving around the places and he enjoyed. He did not return, right? So that means what he has? He has not returned. Returned. So did you understand? He has been to Paris and he has gone to Paris. So he went there and he has returned. Here he went there and he was move. He, he is moving around there, the places he has not returned. So this is the main difference between has been and have has gone. Understood? So now in this class in we right we right we learn the use of keywords in present perfect tense and the placement of the keywords. Right? In the next class, I'm, uh, I teach you. I'll teach you making sentences in present perfect tense. Thank you. Have a nice day.